for my discussion question, um, assuming that we still retain personhood when incarcerated, do you think we still retain our personhood if we are confined only to ourselves and our thoughts? So if we're put into solitary confinement for an extended period of time, do we still retain our personhood? Gunther states that prisoners in a supermax unit may still have everything that an individual human being needs in order to survive. They may even have access to extras, and yet there's something about the absence of regular bodily contact with others, the absence of even the possibility of being touched or touching, that threatens to unhinge the subject. Um, I believe that we, that even if we become unhinged, that we still retain our personhood. Um, if we go back to our first reading, Jones and Kessel state that personhood is grounded in autonomy and in confinement, um, yeah, our chance to, our chance to survive has been taken away, but you still have the ability to survive if you're ever let out. Um, you may have different views on life and essentially be a different person, but you still have personhood, like you are still a person.